Alongside head Havilland men's basketball coach Johnny Estelle, I'm Mark and Sarah for Havilland Athletics. And coach, two more games this weekend, two more conference games. You come in, you guys come in having won six in a row for your first two rematches in conference against Commerce and against Tarleton. How happy have you been with the week of preparation you've seen leading up to these two games? I've uh, been very happy. The kids have been very locked in and focused. Um, you know, it's an exciting time for us now. Um, I think we're starting to kind of figure out, you know, definitely our roles and who we are, um, our brand of basketball, and, uh, you know, just trying to, you know, embrace the uh, uh, efforts and the attitude towards winning. And, uh, you know, these kids have been working hard all year, but sometimes you got to go through a few things and uh, learn a little bit more uh, through the transition, you know, that they've had to take because we had about eight to nine new guys. Uh, but they, they are really working hard now, and uh, I think this it's really exciting right now, to be honest with you. How much do you think the adversity this team faced in the beginning of the season helped them grow and mature and put themselves in a position to play as well as they are right now? Well, I, I think that's why, you know, playing a good schedule helps. You know, I think when you're playing a good schedule like we've had that you have to play every night, it stretches you. Um, so, you know, that adversity that we have went through, um, early helped us. It, 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 it gave us a true indication of who we were at that time and what we needed to work on. And, um, you know, it, it exploited our weaknesses and helped us in practice and kind of it's gotten us where we're at today. Yeah, you've got, each team brings in an excellent player, more than one really, but Commerce has Reggie Reed, Tarleton has Josh Hawley. How do you guys as a team need to focus on defense to try and contain those guys, prevent them from I should say contain them, hard to stop them, but prevent them from taking over the game. Well, I mean, you know, they those are good individual players and they have individual talents, but they, they're on very, two very good teams too and well-coached teams. So, you know, we look at it as not a, like an individual uh, challenge, it's more of a team challenge. So it's going to take a team to guard those guys and it's going to take a team to win this Lone Star Conference Championship and it takes a team to compete every night. So that's kind of our goal. You know, we're going to design, you know, our defense to try to give our team and uh, uh, the best chance to win every night. And that's what we've been working towards since, uh, you know, especially all year, but it's kind of came to fruition now. Everything starts on Thursday against Commerce on Pack the House night. How much of an advantage would it be for your team to be able to play here in front of a packed arena on Thursday against a really good Commerce team? Um, you know, speaking from a player's perspective and a coach perspective, uh, you play better when people in the stands, especially people that are cheering for you. So, you know, I've always said that, and, you know, my whole mission since I've been back is to, to uh, reconnect that with our, you know, basketball team and the student body and the community because, you know, this is our program. It's not my program. It's our program. And when they show up and cheer for our programs, no matter if it's men's basketball, women's basketball, football, any sport for that matter, um, you know, we have a better chance to win because we have a home court advantage. And, uh, you know, the band has been a great asset, Dr. Keeley. We really appreciate what he's done and, and all the people that have been involved in that situation and making that happen because it gives us an advantage here and it propels our kids to play harder and it creates an opportunity for them to understand that they're representing the Havilena Nation, which is a first-class organization. Well, Coach, thanks for the time. Best of luck this week. Thank you so much.